This is planet Quackatron. It's home to the best debuggers in the universe. You know, those guys who fix your computer programs. The planet is mostly inhabited by a species of cyborg ducks, who have perfected the art of writing good code over thousands of years. I'm not kidding. These ducks can write code. The sacred knowledge was passed down generation by generation, with every duck vowing to maintain the sanctity of good quality code. Meet Duck Norris. He's just a run-of-the-mill debugger working for those pesky higher-ups. But Norris loves to code, and he's so passionate about it that he had this dream of sharing the duck's knowledge with the rest of the universe. He brought it up, but the High Quack Council was against it and insisted they keep it safeguarded. Now, Quackatron was highly advanced. They were a thousand years ahead of us, at least. But all this highly advanced technology came with a catch. The bad code from all the debugging started saturating Quackatron's natural water reserves. This didn't go so well for another species that inhabited the planet. Mindless bugs. Which just so happened to be what the ducks ate for breakfast. Drinking the contaminated water made the bugs grow in size and strength. Turning them into raging mutants who wanted nothing more than sweet, sweet revenge. And one fateful day, the bugs launched their attack. Let's just say the ducks were extremely underprepared. Now, Norris is a lover, not a fighter. And he was terrified of these mutant bugs. I mean, have you seen one up close? Well, they're not exactly eye candy. While trying to get the hell out of there, Duck Norris came across Quackatron's escape pods. Just as he was about to make a run for it, one of these mutant bugs bursts into the room. As he flew away from his rapidly imploding planet, leaving everything he ever knew behind, Norris knew one thing for certain. He had to share the duck's knowledge with the rest of the universe. As the lone survivor, it was his duty. He traveled for years until he came across Earth, where humans seemed to have developed their own programming languages. He crash landed and wound up on some random farm. He ran a search query on good code and came across Deep Source. He knew this is where he had to be. He saw that they were hiring and he applied for a job right away. During his interview, Norris told them his life story and how he landed on Earth. They didn't really know what to make of this. Well, who can blame them? And that's how a cyborg duck from a whole other galaxy became the mascot of Deep Source, sharing the common goal of helping developers ship good code. <laughs>